I um, first met the Lois Merrill Foundation in 2010, right after my mom was diagnosed with neuroendocrine tumor. Was in, uh, primarily in my pancreas, but had uh, metastasized into my liver. And uh, this is an incurable disease. She felt that it wasn't gonna work. It's too expensive. just a godsend to find someone that uh, was able to really uh, know exactly my cancer and then how to uh, handle it. And i have a uh, pancreatic neuroendocrine survivor for nine years. It was just really uh, a great opportunity to connect with others that were going through the same type of cancer that I was. The Lois Merrill Foundation uh, provides a whole different type of support, uh, not only the financial, but also personal support. Meeting these people who had already decided, you know what, we are gonna work on this with you. We're gonna come beside you and partner with you and help you. Again, really put a lot of wind in our sails at a time when we were, we were, we were desperate, really. They're just so innovative as far as all the different charity events that they have to raise funds to help the patients. The uh, events are just phenomenal in the different venues and the different types of events that they have and the people that, that attend are amazing. I was able to uh, apply for a scholarship. And Lois Merrill um, partnered with us on that and offered my mom a medical grant. Being that it's a rare cancer, there may not be uh, a doctor or specialist in your area. To help ultimately with the $60,000 that it was going to cost to complete this treatment in Houston. I know one of my surgeries was um, three quarter of a million dollars. We offer support for the families and the friends. Um, as soon as I said, hey, I got a bill here, this one's a tough one, and they said, sure, just send it to me, and it was taken care of. Every event brings awareness to so many more people. Not to mention that Lois Merrill is specific to this disease that is, you know, widely unknown and widely misdiagnosed. We were told that in medical school, if you hear hoofbeats, you assume it's, it's a horse. Um, zebra just stands out as being a little different uh, than, the, than the norm, so that's become our symbol. Not cancer-free, but I'm at a, a much better place than I was two years ago.